is here tonight. Come on and declare it. You came in broken, but you are not going the same. You came in lost, but you're not going the same. His power is here. Come on, give the Lord some worship in this place. Like give the Lord praise in this place. We magnify you, Lord. We thank you so much, oh God for the opportunity to come into your presence of oh God and sing songs unto you. We thank you for Zion, O oh God. We thank you that you reign on Zion, O oh God. And you are here tonight. We give you all glory, O oh God. Come on, somebody, lift up your voice, church. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. We magnify you. Hear, oh. Jehovah, wherever you are, Jehovah, We thank you.
Catch this thing, catch this thing, catch this thing. You see, it is God who calls for the things that are not as if they are. We are not here just to thank God for what he has done for us. We are here to praise and worship him for what he's about to do. The greatest level of the display of our faith it's not in knowing what God is doing, but knowing what God can do. See, in the next few minutes when we are here, don't take this time for, for, for granted. Hararo Sibiri Adere. See the way I'm singing it. Nyamie. Listen. Samaya ya efiwara Onyamie semi tumpona efiwara Nyamie he Samaya ya efiwara Samana wasia wasia
presence of the Lord in this place. The Lord has been here from beginning till now. Come on, just lift up your heart. I don't know what your challenges are. This morning, when pastor was talking, he said that the Lord is going to start his miracle working power here tonight. I sense a move of the Lord strongly in this place. You don't want to joke. If you're a child, just don't joke with this time. Just lift up your hand to the heavens. I don't know. I don't know what your personal issues are. Some of the things you need the Lord to move on your behalf. Right here on Mount Zion, you want to lift up your hand. Talk to the Lord yourself. The Holy Spirit will hear you. Talk to the Lord yourself. In the next two minutes, talk to the Lord. Yes, I've seen him work. Bibia ranso no ye Ano na okasa Ari ginara tedi Bibia ranso Oti chance ni faso Oriti mami Come on tell him
of worship is this. Six minutes after 4 a.m. Uh, Joy 99.7 FM. And you welcome to Joy Time in His Presence. This morning, uh, we're going to thank the Lord for the next few minutes and get into prayer. Basically, we're going to focus on praying for our young ones who have prepared themselves and beginning their BC this morning that God will help them, that God will guide them, the Spirit of God will empower them to excel, that nothing will stop them from fulfilling their destiny. And then we'll be receiving God's word uh, from Reverend Dr. Francis C. And then he will also be praying for the BC candidates as well. This morning production by Pastor Kojo Echampo. My name is Kojo Frempo. The Lord bless you this morning. The next three minutes, just honor the Lord and worship Him and bless Him and glorify Him. You heavenly Father. Glory to God. Well, let's get into prayer. First of all, we want to thank God for the lives of all BC candidates across Ghana. 
thank God for their lives. Thank God for them. Thank God for the wisdom is given them. The mind to study. The retentive memory. The name of Jesus. The spirit of understanding that is at work in them. Thank God for it. Mention the name of the school. Use your children as point of contact. The name of Jesus. Lord, this morning we are grateful for all candidates of the BC. Thank you for your wisdom at work in death. Thank you for the spirit of understanding. Thank you for your faithfulness towards them. To you alone be all the glory. To you alone be all the praise. To you alone be all the honor. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The name of Jesus. Thank you for empowering them to excel the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Daniel chapter 1, the verse number 17. 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 The Bible says that as for these four young men, God gave them knowledge and skill in all literature and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. God gave them the ability to learn, the ability to understand. This morning you are praying for all the candidates, your children. You are praying that even as they begin their exams today, that God by the Holy Spirit will grant them a retentive memory. The name of Jesus, the fear of examination will not be their portion. You are rebuking the spirit of fear. The earth is that God will grant them the grace, the grace to write and to write well. well. The name of Jesus, lift your voice as we begin to pray for them this morning. Pray for them. Pray for them. The name of Jesus. We pray this morning over the lives of all candidates of BC. We ask, oh God, that you will grant them the wisdom. You will grant them a retentive memory. That you will empower them to excel. The name of Jesus. I pray for Sayram Gada. I use him as a point of contact this morning. I pray that, Lord, your wisdom will find expression. That even as they respond to the questions, that, Lord, you will cause them to remember that which they have been taught. And by your help, I pray, oh God, for Jude. I pray for Jude Smith now. The name of Jesus, that you will empower all of them to excel, that you will grant them the grace. I pray for Rian Abebio, in the name of Jesus, all the students in the various schools across Ghana, that Lord, in this year, they will excel beyond our expectation. The name of Jesus, we pray, oh God, the wisdom of God to produce excellence. The wisdom of God for them to understand the question and to answer the question well. Let that wisdom rest on your lives. The name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, for Justina in your in Bogatanga and all the students in Juliet and Gika 
school. I pray for Kekeli. I pray for Nikote Drummer. I pray for the students of Achimota Basic School that God will empower all of them to excel. That none shall fail. The name of Jesus, Mami and Olivia. I pray, oh God, for a king lawyer. I pray for favor in the name of Jesus that you will empower and help these ones uh, that they will excel in the BECE -E exams. Uh, none shall forsake her uh, and none shall forsake her. Uh, their health be preserved uh, in the name of Jesus. I pray the blessing, uh, the blessing of good success, uh, the blessing of good success. Uh, they will not struggle for the next phase of the academics uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray for Melissa. I pray, oh God, for Karen. In the name of Jesus, I pray for Duke. I pray, oh God, for Esla. I pray for Silvanos and Asila and all their colleagues. In the name of Jesus, all the students of Queensland and Nesgazi and your colleagues. I pray for Etonamna and all the students of Peace Home. I pray the blessing of excellence. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, empower them to excel that even as you gave Daniel and his colleagues the, the skill the skill to know the skill to understand this morning we pray for all these students that you will empower them to understand the questions that the spirit of God who is the one that reminds us of things that Holy Ghost you will remind them that you will grant them this retentive memory in the name of Jesus that rebuke the spirit of fear the spirit of intimidation, the voice of cheating, I declare they will reject it, they will go in sincerity, depending on that which they've been taught, and the studies they have made, in the name of Jesus, that Lord, you will crown their effort with good success this morning, in the name of Jesus, I pray the spirit of excellence over their lives, oh God, I pray for Eloma Samoa and all the colleagues, Junior Obodai, and the friends, oh God, God, I pray for all the students of Future Leaders Educational Center in the name of Jesus. I pray for Lisa Rihanna. I pray, oh God, over Amasanina in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, for your colleagues as well. I see that I do. I pray that God you will empower them, empower them to excel in the name of Jesus. I pray for grace over their lives this morning in the name of Jesus. I declare the boldness. I pray for them this morning. They will go in confidence and knowing, oh God, that you will help them, that you will grant them the grace to excel in the name of Jesus. I pray for the students of Ebenezer Methodist School and the students of Kidika School in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, for the students Kwekumwatin Ozo and all your colleagues as well in the name of Jesus. I release the help of God, the help of God, the help of God, the help of God. In the name of Jesus, we decree that none shall fail. They will not fail, that these ones will excel. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. I want us to pray. The Bible says that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he has granted us of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Sound mind. Sound mind. I want us to pray for soundness of mind. Sound mind. Mention the name of your children, their colleagues, and say we release sound mind. All throughout this exams period, we establish sound mind. The name of Jesus. Sound mind. The name of Jesus. Sound mind. Sound mind. Sound mind. Let's lift our voice and pray. The manifestation of a sound mind. The name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you will empower these ones uh, with the promise of your word. Uh, that, Lord, you have granted us sound mind, super intelligence. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we release sound mind over these students. Uh, let their mind come alive. Uh, the thinking, the reasoning uh, that is consistent to God and within the parameters uh, of that which they've been taught. Uh, in the 
in the name of Jesus. Uh, we rebuke the spirit of forgetfulness. Uh, Holy Ghost, you are the one that reminds uh, that you will remind them uh, that you will remind them uh, we release sound mind uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we pray this morning by the word of God uh, the blessedness of a sound mind uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that these children uh, they possess a sound mind uh, a sound mind uh, a mind that understands uh, a mind that comprehends uh, a mind that remembers uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that their mind will be coherent uh, it will be consistent uh, with that way they have been taught uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that nothing will create confusion in their thoughts uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, in the name of Jesus uh, we secure their mind uh, we secure their reasoning uh, we secure their thinking uh, in the name of Jesus we pray this morning uh, by the promise of your word uh, that you will empower them uh, with the soundness of mind uh, in the name of Jesus uh, I pray for Selassie Adraco and all your colleagues uh, at Liberty at Presbyterian School in Ashaman Estate uh, I pray for Link Preparatory School students uh, in the name of Jesus uh, and JHS3 students uh, and Angela I pray for Gilda Wood uh, in the name of Jesus uh, I prophesy by the word of God uh, a sound mind uh, over these students oh God uh, in the name of Jesus uh, I pray for Joel uh, in the name of Jesus and your colleagues uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, we bless them with a sound mind uh, in the name of Jesus tell your children uh, they have a sound mind uh, that their mind retain uh, the right knowledge the relevant knowledge uh, any knowledge that is not consistent uh, with the exams they are going to write uh, we drive that knowledge out of their mind uh, and we bring their mind uh, into the realities of the question uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that Lord you will empower and help them uh, their mind will generate solutions uh, their mind will generate solutions uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that you will empower them to write well uh, they will spell well uh, they will write well uh, their punctuations will be right uh, in the name of Jesus uh, in the shaka sanda in mando zenda in wantu amdara mena wada in the name of padia in the name of wada 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 Day, Baba, that these ones will excel. They will go beyond last year's results. In the name of Jesus, we prophesy the students of First Baptist by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The name of Jesus. If you read Numbers chapter 14, the verse number 28, the Lord said to Moses that to say to the children of Israel that as they have spoken in my ear, so will I do. The Bible says that you will have whatsoever you say. He said you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. He said let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. The Christian hope is a confident expectation that good will happen. That is the Christian hope. We are going to pray. We are going to prophesy over these students. You know, I I, <laughs> I don't really know the specific uh, details of the subjects. Okay, I know math, science, uh, but, <laughs> but the rest I'm not too sure. Uh, <laughs> you know, Reverend is even laughing. You know, I'm not too sure about it, but I know math, science, and English, okay? Uh, the rest of them. So what we are going to do is that we're going to mention the subjects, and then we're going to prophesy. And then, uh, Kojo, the grade, is it one or uh, one? So one, two, three. Is that not so? It is not A, B, C. It is one, one, two, three. So if you get six ones, it is six. Is that not so? Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, <laughs> you know, so we're going to prophesy. Uh, 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 and then you mention in mathematics that my son is making one in English one in science okay so you mentioned the names of the subjects that you're going to prophesy okay I, I hope it's clear because you I hope I've made myself clear <laughs> all right all right so let's begin to pray father in the name of Jesus that in all the subjects 
that they are going to write we make a decree by the power of the holy ghost uh, that these students are excelling uh, they are making grade one the name of jesus i pray for the students of tla i pray for victory presbyterian church students the name of jesus okay english mathematics social studies science pre-tech and rme okay we decree that these students are making it they are making one the name of jesus green hill school we prophesy excellence excellence that they are excelling the name of jesus they will not fail the name of jesus that the best is what is imagined that you are manifesting and working and experiencing the best the name of jesus i pray for hillary oredu and henry oredu in the name of jesus and even in the french language we decree that the students are making it they are possessing one the name of jesus we bless them with excellence we bless them with that spirit of excellence the name of jesus these ones will make it they will do well in the name of jesus in the prasata eloshanda krando senda etmando senda the students of the first baptist adonai school saint theresa catholic school in north kanisha the students of achimota Meiji school and all the schools across the land and breadth of this nation the name of jesus we decree the students are excelling they are excelling the name of jesus thank you father and let's pray that God will preserve them. That the Lord will preserve them. That none shall fall sick. The name of Jesus. Decree that their health will be sustained, preserved by the power of the Holy Ghost. That whatever they will eat or drink in this season, it is sanctified. The name of Jesus. Pray that your children will be delivered from peer pressure. That they will not fall to the trap of cheating. They will not be distracted. That anybody Satan will use to distract them. May my children not fall into that trap. The name of Jesus. Pray for the spirit of focus. Focus. That the children will be focused. The name of Jesus. A Sutrari Estate makes this cool. That they will be focused. Lufenya DA students. That they will be focused. The name of Jesus. Sustain their health. Their health will preserve and care. The name of Jesus. Release that blessing, that prayer over their lives. The name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Focus, focus. Mention the name of your son or your daughter and say, I release the spirit of focus, the grace to be focused. You will not be distracted. The name of Jesus. That they will not cheat. The name of Jesus. Oh. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Oh, blessed be your name. Now you're going to thank the Lord. Mention the name of your son or your daughter. Father, thank you for the success of the students of St. Augustine School. Thank you for the success of Ruth. Thank you for the success of Selassie. Thank you for the success. Just thank the Lord and sing along. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to our children.
Thank you, Lord. No one can. And right after Reverend uh, Dr. Francis C. finished teaching the word, he's going to pray for all the candidates. And I want you to wake them up. Okay, I'm sure by now they are putting final touches together. <laughs> it's five o'clock. They shouldn't be sleeping by now. <laughs> Just go ahead and thank the Lord. Bless the Lord. Get your Bibles ready as we get into the Word of God. And let me say a very God bless you to Reverend Dr. Francis. Say God bless you, Rev. God bless you too. <laughs> How are you doing, please? Be careful. I'm blessed. Pray, and trust you. Pray, by, by God's grace, I'm also uh, doing well. This week, we all have to wear school uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> and be part of, 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 of the BC exams. That's right. Uh, we will be there with them in the spirit. That's right and encouraging them that's right if god did it for us he, he will, will do, do it, it for, for them. them praise god amen, amen. and god richly bless um icgc greater works last week was just awesome, awesome. was awesome. just awesome. awesome and we thank god for conference host dr, dr. M. Otabel. And Mrs. Otabel, and yeah. they set their way for us, <laughs> and they set the standards for us. There, there is something we say, Reverend. We say we are ICGs. Uh -huh. <laughs> As for the standards, you always set it. That's right. The level of excellence. That's right. Wow, it's just amazing. We bless God. And we bless. I mean, all the speakers was such a blessing. God richly, richly, richly bless ICGC, and. And Pastor and Mrs. Otabel for this great vision. Amen. And today we are looking at the faithfulness of God's word. The faithfulness of God's word. And I trust that even our, our children, the BEC students, will key into God's faithfulness, his faithfulness to his word. And today we are taking our scriptures from Psalm 119, verses 89 to 86. Psalm 119, 89 to 86. And I read the word of God. You can also take your Bibles and read along. It says, Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You establish the earth and it abides. They continue this day according to your ordinances. For all are your servants. Unless your law had been my delight, I would then have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. I am yours. Save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked wait for me to destroy me, but I will consider your testimonies. I have seen the consummation of all perfection, but your command is exceedingly broad. The faithfulness of God's word. You know, God gives us only his word. He's, he's powerful. He's, he's, he can do all things. He exists and he speaks to us every time of, the, of our lives and into the generations. And so God's word is what we rely on. And in this scripture, there are a few things that we will learn for the time that we have. The first is that God's word is settled. God's word it is settled. And what that means is that God's word is firmly established. As the verse 89 says, Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. And this is very, very important. This sets the foundation upon which we can depend on the word of God. And it means that we can trust God's word because it is settled. And in this verse, we learn three foundational truths. First, the word of God is eternal. Forever, O Lord, God's word is eternal. Second, the word of God is established. It means it is unchangeable. It is unmovable. As its efficacy, as it has been, always will be. 
And thirdly, that the word of God is absolute and objective. It is settled not on earth, but in heaven. The word of God operates beyond the realms of the earth. And so it's not subjected to our opinions and even our experiences. Sometimes we, we, we think our experiences define the word of God, but our experiences do not. The word of God is beyond, is above the word, the, the, the experiences. So the word of God is absolute and objective. And therefore, putting these three foundational truths together, we can say God's word is dependable, God's word is true, and God's word is effective. Hallelujah. And so now what do we do with God's word? God's, God's faithfulness, number two, is seen in his word. God's faithfulness. He said, your faithfulness, verse 90, your faithfulness endures to all generations. You establish the earth and it abides. Because God's word is true because God's word is forever, because God's word is settled, because God's word is objective, we can depend on it forever. It means that you can you can pass it on from one generation to the other. It never expires. What God did for it, Moses, he can do it for you. What God did for Sarah, he can do it for you. What God did through David, he can do it for you. The power and the efficacy of God's word can be transferred from one generation to the other. It will bless us. It blessed the people of old. So shall it bless us as it performed miracles in the lives of the people of old. So shall it also perform miracles. And so God speaks into every generation. God's word is relevant to every generation. It is never anachronistic. It is never obsolete. It is never out of date. As it was relevant to Moses, so is it relevant today. As it was relevant to Jonah, so is it relevant today. And God always fulfills his promises in every generation. I mean, we have written BEC. I mean, we wrote comment runs. But those times, that pay, the tension was very, it was as if our destinies hinged on it. But here we are. God has brought us this far. By his word, if God has brought us this far, he will also take this generation. By that same word, my brother, my sister, my son, my daughter, going to write these same exams, God did it for us. And he will do it for you. Because God's word is for every generation. And he acts in every generation. Hallelujah. Number three, God's word sustains. God's word is a sustainer. And the verse 90 to 91, uh, it says, it, Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth, and it abideth. The word of God established the earth. And, and when it talks about the earth, it's, it's not just about our world, but the entire universe. God's word, let there be light. And there was light. Let the firmaments be separated from the waters. And heavens was created. Let the waters be separated from the land. Let the starry hosts appear. And all of them appeared just because of the word of God. And not only that, they abide and they are sustained by the word of God. The earth is rotating. The earth is revolving along its assets. It's within orbit. The starry hosts, they are all moving. Reverend, they are all moving. But there are no collisions. There are no accidents. One, uh, one planet is not getting closer to another planet. Each one of them is in its orbit. It's in its path. Why? Because the word of God is sustaining it. That is the strength and the power of the word of God. And Bible says, for they are all his servants. The sun is the servant of God. The moon is the servant of God. The rain is the servant 
servant of God. The rivers are the servants of God. And if they are the servants of God, they will work for advantage. The ground will work for advantage. When you sow on this ground, the ground will be fruitful because the ground is the servant of God. The ground, it means that the ground will respond to the word of God. The ground will respond positively to you. In the name of Jesus, you can depend on the go on God. You can look at this world in these difficult times. The earth will respond to you because God creates and sustains it by his word and they are his servants. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you. This is the word of the Lord for you. If the word of God brought the word of God brought this word into existence, that same word sustains it and that same word will sustain you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Then the fourth thing we learn is that the word of God sustains in affliction. As long as we are in this world, man with few days on this earth is full of problems and is full of afflictions. But look at what the verse 92 says. It says, unless thy law had been my delight, I should then have perished in my affliction. I should then have perished in my affliction. The challenges of this life, we overcome them by our focus on the word of God. Bible says, and this is the Psalm of David, it says that unless thy law had been my delight, so in the midst of the affliction, instead of David focusing on the affliction, he decided to focus on the law of the Lord. He decided to put his delight instead of complaining, instead of being depressed of the challenges that he was going through. He decided to put his delight in the law of the Lord. He said that, and you shall meditate on the law of the Lord day and night, and then you would make your way prosperous. In the midst of your affliction, psychologically, we have a choice. We can choose to focus on the problem we can choose to feed on the problem we can choose to 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 moan and groan about the problem but this is what god teaches us because his word is true because his word is absolute because his word is eternal because his word is dependable if we focus our minds on the word of god if we focus our hearts on the word of god even in the midst of the challenges and of the affliction we are sure to come out he says he says that i should then have perished in the affliction the affliction that was meant for your destruction by the word of God, you shall be delivered out of it. By the word of God, it says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the good Lord delivers them from them all. Today, you may have been afflicted. You may be going through one kind of affliction or the other, but this is the word of God for you today. The word of God is deliverance. The word of God delivers you out of this affliction. If you would focus your mind on it. If you focus your mind on him, as the book of Isaiah says, it said that he will focus his mind on him, on, on the word of God, because he trusts in him. And therefore, there will be peace for that, for, 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 for the one whose mind is focused on God. In the midst of your affliction, delight in the word of God. Enjoy the word of God. Feed on the word of God. Meditate on the word of God. Let your mind be on the word of God. As Paul wrote, he said, don't be anxious about anything, but in all things, with prayer and supplications, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God and the peace of God. I prophesy over somebody this morning, 
morning, you are coming out of that affliction. That trouble will not destroy you. That trouble will not kill you. That trouble will not dismantle your future. But by the word of the Lord, you would be coming out and what you are going through will become a testimony. A testimony of God's faithfulness. A testimony of God's goodness. A testimony of the power of God and God, the word of God to sustain you. And you will go through this situation and come out unscathed by the power of the Most High God. Whatever challenging situation you find yourself, the word of God will take you through it. The word of God will keep you through it. The word of God will protect you through it. The word of God will make a way for you in the mighty name of Jesus. It is the word of God that will keep you through it. Delight yourself in the Lord. Delight yourself in the word. Keep your mind on the word. Confess the word. Speak it into your life. Continue to speak it to your life. Even when the situation is shows no signs of change, don't stop confessing the word. Confess it. Speak it. Speak it into that situation. Sooner than later, you would be coming out of the affliction. You'll be coming out of that situation in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord's word is powerful. The Lord's word works, is effective in the name of Jesus and it shall bring you deliverance. It will sustain you in your season of affliction. Amen. The word of God also preserves our lives. The word of God preserves our lives. Look at what verse 93, Psalm 119, verse 93 to 94 says. It says, I will never forget thy precepts. I won't forget your precepts. For with them you have quickened me. I am yours. Save me. For I have sought your precepts. I will never forget your precepts. I will never forget your word. Why? Because it is a quickener. The word of God carries life in itself. The word of God is life. Jesus says, the word that I speak to you, they are spirits and they are life. Whatever is dead, whichever area of our lives is dead, dead and, and not responding to the things the, the things that we want it to. Not responding to love. Not responding to prosperity. Not responding to productivity. Not responding to life. Sometimes even our bodies are not responding to good health. The word of God overrides every sickness. The word of rock of God overrides poverty. The word of God overrides pain and in the name of Jesus as you keep reminding yourself it says I do not forget about the precepts it means that every day the, the author of this psalm reminds himself of the word of God. Today, I want you to remind yourself of the word of God. Remind yourself of God's promises. Remind yourself. Remind yourself. Keep reminding it. Don't forget about the word. Said this word of the Lord. Don't forget about it. But it should remain in your mouth. It should remain in your heart. Let the word of God remain in your heart. Let the word of God remain in your mouth. And keep talking it, keep declaring it, keep confessing it, keep speaking it. What will it do? It will quicken you. You would receive life in your weakness. You will receive strength when you are weak. You will receive power to do what you are struggling to do. You will receive wisdom to overcome that challenge. You will receive understanding as you continue confessing, as you continue speaking it, as you continue declaring it, as you continue making it your focus. The word of God will quicken you. This morning I pray, may the Lord quicken you. May the Lord quicken your mortal body. May the Lord quicken your spirit. May the Lord quicken your soul in the name of Jesus, the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Number six. 
says, the word of the Lord protects. Verse 95. He said, the wicked have waited for me to destroy me. But I will consider thy testimonies. I mean, is it, isn't it amazing yeah. that the wicked is waiting for your destruction? What would a normal person do? who will be watching out for the wicked. What are the schemes? What is he trying to do? But this is what the psalmist says. He said, as the wicked is scheming, I will focus on your testimonies. I will focus on the word of God. I will not make the acts of the wicked my focus. Why? Because my victory is only assured in the word of God. My victory over the powers of darkness is only assured in the word of God. Do you remember when then uh, David met Goliath in that showdown and 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 Goliath was was making all the noise, talking about I, I, I mean how how he would he would take out uh, David, and now David will not even look at. It. He said that you come against me with spears and with sword and with an, an arrow, but I come against you in the name of the Lord. He began to declare the name of the Lord, and what happened? Goliath fell. This morning, every Goliath will fall in your life. This morning, every giant will fall. Every plan of the enemy is aborted because the word of the Lord is exalted in your life. Because the word of God is lifted in your life. Because the word of God is your protection. The word of God surrounds you. The word of God is fire around you. The word of God is a wall around you. An impenetrable wall around you you no weapon that is fashioned against you will prosper and every tongue that rises against you you condemn in judgment using the word of god the word of the lord will preserve you as they work hard against you so will god's word also work hard for you as they work hard to bring you down so will the word of god be at work to lift you up thus they are trying to distract you so the word of god will direct you the word of god will speak to your ears it will guide you every trap that is set on the way. The Lord will reveal through the word. You will avoid every trap. You would avoid every valley. You would avoid everything. Every armor. Every every arrow that is thrown at you. It shall not prosper and it shall not work. If either by the day or by the night. Whatever they do in the day or in the night it shall not work. It shall not prosper. God's word sustains you. God sweat keeps you in the name of Jesus. We are sustained by the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Then finally, said the word of God is boundless. The word of God has no limits. Psalm 119 verse 96. It says, I have seen an end of all perfection. Every perfection has a limit. Every perfection without God has a limit. But thy commandment, your commandment is exceedingly broad. It's exceeding broad. The word of God has no boundaries. The word of God has no limits. Where our limitations end, that is where the word of God starts. And therefore, when we hold on to the word of God, we are not limited. We connect to the limitless resources of God. We commit to connect to the limitless power that is available for God. And God's hand in your life through his word will cause you to exceed every limit. God's hand in your life will cause you to exceed the boundaries. You will break the boundaries and you will break the records. You will break the limits, family limits. You will break educational limits. You will break gender limits. You will break cultural limits. You will break racial limits, even spatial limits. You 
will break them. Why? Because of the limitless word of God. It has no boundaries. And look at what Hebrews 4.12 says. It says, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joys and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. The word of God is limitless. It is powerful. It is sharper and it will perform what it has been sent to perform in your life in the name of Jesus. Today, we have considered and looked at the faithfulness of God's word. God's word is dependable because it is eternal. God's word is, eter is dependable because it's unchangeable. God's word is objective and dependable because it is settled in heaven. In his word, it's relevant to every generation, sustains the universe for our advantage, sustains us in affliction, preserves our lives, protects us, and is boundless. With the word of God, we exceed every limit. May the word of God bless you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Joy 99.7 FM brings you another Joy Family Forum dubbed Becoming Mr. and Mrs. All you need to know before marriage. A breakfast meeting for singles led by Home Affairs and hosted by yours truly, Adam Knight Day. Our guest speakers for the day are Ghana's favorite uncle, Uncle Lebo White, and Reverend Mrs. Rita Crunchy Ankara, First Lady of the Royal House Chapel. Mrs. Theresa Riafia Sante Mama T, a real the wellness coach, Kobina Tabedu, PG Sabah. Sebastian, lawyer Kwekuya Mwapinto, and a host of other seasoned relationship coaches and counselors will all be in attendance. You get to enjoy a good buffet breakfast, giveaways, networking, and other fun activities at a cool rate of 150 Ghana CDs per head and 250 for two. Venue is the Best Western Plus Hotel, Nungwa. Time is 6 a.m. through to 10 a.m. and the date is 12 August 2023. Please reserve your spots now. Call or WhatsApp 05. 259-288-9986 for your reservations. This event is supported by Best Western Plus Hotel, Nungwa, Ship Healthcare Specialist Medical Center, Nish, Goba Kinti, and Marie Noel's Spa and Salon. Becoming Mr. and Mrs. All you need to know before marriage. Joy 99.7 FM, taking you closer to heaven. After 5 a.m., uh, still on Joy 99.7 FM. This is Joy Time in His Presence. Everything about the Word. The Word of God is eternal. The Word of God is reliable. The Word of God works. That God sustains the universe by the power of His Word. 
and that word has come to you and I. Go ahead and do the word. Work with the word. Apply the word. The Bible says that we should be doers of the word and not just hearers only. The word profits you when you do the word. And may God grant us grace, the strength and the energy to always do his word. I want to say a very big thank you to Reverend Dr. Francis Say, General Overseer, uh, Four Square Gospel Church in Ghana. You know, he's my senior pastor every Monday morning. And I'm really enjoying the word. <laughs> you know, Reverend, you know, so as we said this morning, uh, 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 our young ones, sons, daughters are, yes. are going to write their BC, and uh, yes. we want you to pray. Um, a blessing over their lives mm -hmm. that the Lord will help them to excel in, in this first phase of, of their mm -hmm. academics. Yes. Uh, what I would first tell them is that they have to be confident in the word of God. That's confident right. in the word of God. That's right. God has already accomplished mm. what he has said concerning their lives. That's right. And they have to respond to it by faith That's right. and be at rest within themselves. Mm. As Bible says, it says that don't be anxious about anything, mm. but in all things in prayer and supplications, right. let your requests be made known to God right. and the peace of God mm. that passes all understanding. Mm. This morning, first we pray that God take out every kind of anxiety the, out of their lives amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And that your peace that passes all human understanding yes. rests upon all the students, all the children writing, starting their exams this week from amen. today. Amen. Your peace we ask in the name of Jesus. Secondly, we pray for, for clarity of mind. Amen. We are praying God Give them the clarity. Amen. Let their minds be at rest. Amen. Let their minds be be at at, at rest in you, Amen. knowing that it is done Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. that they would be able to understand. Amen. They would be able to analyze. Amen. And they will be able to present their answers in a logical, in the logical clarity. Uh, in, in clarity as well Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we pray for the spirit of remembrance Amen. that God, all that they have learned and all that they have been prepared for, yes. that they will remember Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the objectives, yes. they will remember. Amen. In the essays, yes. they will remember every point Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord, we pray again for the the spirit of excellence, yes. the spirit to excel, yes. only comes from you. Amen. You grace Daniel and Shadrach and Abednego with the spirit of excellence. We pray in the name of Jesus and lift all these children before you. Yes. And we pray, God, grace them with the spirit of excellence. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. that every question will be attempted and answered with an a spirit of excellence Amen. with an excellent spirit Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we know that in these times there are evil people around. Yes. Protect your own. Yes. May no one fall into cheating. Amen. May no one fall into copying. Amen. May no one fall into any exam or practice. Amen. But together they would stay in your presence. Yes. Trust you yes. and that you take them through. Amen. Today we start. Yes. We pray that you take them through today. Yes. You take them through tomorrow. Yes. You take them through Wednesday, yes. through Thursday, Amen. and finish with them on Friday. Amen. It's successfully. Amen. Some will be traveling. Yes. Take them safely Amen. and bring them back safely. Amen. Some will be will, will, would have to sleep in without lights. Yes. Even during those times, yes. let your spirit minister wisdom to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Grant them success this yeah. week. And as the results come, we will all have the cause to celebrate Hallelujah. what you would have done Hallelujah. because this year would be an excellent year Amen. for all the BEC students amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. And amen. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Congratulations to all the students. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Wow. Jesus, my so the word of the Lord has come. Congratulations. The Lord bless all our students. Go and excel in the name of Jesus. I want to say a very big thank you to Reverend Dr. Francis Say for spending time with us this morning. Thank you so much, Reverend. And God richly bless you. Happy 19th marriage anniversary to Dr. Julius and Mrs. Juliana Denyo. You are in Sakumono. The Lord bless you this morning. Praying for retentive memory for the head prefect of Corpus Christi Basic School. Kofi Osei Fusu, his friends, Henry Alegebam and Pauline Aqua. The Lord protect and grant you the spirit of remembrance and success. All right. Lord bless you all. JHS 3 students. This one says, praying for the spirit of remembrance and success for Ewenam, Vule, and Lamuel, Kodel, Kojoyan, Paka, and their BC. All right. Uh, this one says, uh, Benita Ellis Hope. You're writing your exams today as well. Okay. The Lord bless you. Your father is a, a senior Hope. <laughs> God bless you. I hope you are doing well, sir. All right. Uh, and now you're in Mrs. Juliet Abna Fosu, Emma Taylor of Kaneshi Presby Church. Belated birthday. Your daughter Jessica. And all those who are writing the BEC. Tell them that they should go and excel. The Lord bless all of them. The name of Jesus. Let me play a victory song for all our candidates. Eh? Because of Jesus. I said call me because of Jesus. All right. Joy 99.7 FM. This one says today is uh, my first daughter's birthday. Mrs. Elfrida J.C. Mafo. Uh, the Lord bless your daughter. This is from your mother, Dinah Tego. All right. 
Let the students rejoice. Victory is yours. Trinity Lutheran School in Tema. I said that I know be an opera. All right. So this one says, uh, hey. Jerome at the four. Uh, the Lord bless him uh, as he writes his exams as well. Titus in Shira Abeyi and all students of Quarter Memorial International. The Lord caused them to excel. All right, God bless all of them. Joy time in his presence is brought to you by Masha Partners Limited and I care. Thank you, uh, Pastor Kojo Echampo, for the production. God bless you and have a blissful day. I'm out of here. Hey, everybody, everybody, let me see you dance. <laughs>
Welcome to today's Rhapsody reading, Wednesday night. Pastor says, Right wiseness and the judgments of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. In our previous study, we referenced right standing as one of the attributes of righteousness. Today, we will be considering another attribute of righteousness called right wiseness. Right wiseness is not a term that's often used in everyday communication, but it's an important element of righteousness. Right wise means to be rightward or towards the right. This, however, is not talking about the physical position of being towards the right hand side. It refers instead to rightness, the ability to always be and do right in the presence of a holy God. Remember, righteousness is God's nature his character, ability, and attributes of being right and perfect. How he thinks, what he says, and what he does is always right because he's God and he could never be wrong. This quality of the rightness of God is captured in the old English term, right wiseness. God alone knows what's right. When he imparts his righteousness to your spirit, you also begin to know what's right just like him and you are given the ability to do it. The judgments of God from thence are wrought in your spirit. What do I mean by the judgments of God? This has to do with how God perceives and judges things, how he sees things and what he thinks about them. Now, because of his nature in you, you now carry the judgments of God in your spirit. You have his opinions and you know his will. The prophet Isaiah, speaking about the Christ, said, He shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 3 to 4. This means he will not judge according to his senses, but by the Spirit. It's the same with you now that Christ has been made unto you righteousness. His right wiseness and his judgments are in your spirit. You judge by the spirit. Hallelujah. Repeat this confession. I'm the unveiling of the Father's righteousness, his right wiseness, and sound judgments are heard in me, seen in me, and dispensed through me. I judge by the spirit in righteousness and reprove with equity because I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. For further study, read 1 Corinthians 1 30, Romans 5 verse 1, and Romans 8 verse 30. If you want to make Jesus the Lord of your life, please repeat this after me. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Today's broadcast was brought to you by Christ Embassy. If you were blessed by this broadcast, please contact 244 244 223 or 027-914-3895. 027-914-3895. God bless you. The other day, I visited Kweku at his spunky new office to congratulate him on opening his business. And man, was I impressed. The business is just moving quick. The sales, customers, everything is just working seamlessly. The secrets, hmm. Uh, he said, it's empty and business broadband. In this fast-paced environment, we need fast and reliable internet to support all business types. No laggy online meetings, great download and upload speeds, impeccable business management systems, all inclusive. I mean, you can have it all. So, I signed on immediately. <laughs> to enable your business stay ahead and stay connected, make sure you're signed on to the best internet made just for businesses. MTN Business Broadband. Sign up today on broadband.mtn.com.gh and manage your account on my MTN app. Call 244